Hey royalties, welcome back to the channel. So if you went into Tia Mori, my next art episode 140, well, I'm sure you probably got nothing because Tia Mori did not spill the tea about what really happened between she and Corey, even though the highlights and snippets of the show kind of made it look like she was going to be telling it all. But I'm sorry to disappoint you, she did not, okay? But who knows, maybe she's going to be sharing sometime on a later episode or maybe she won't complete honestly i don't think she'll be sharing maybe for personal reasons but i think it was an interesting um tv show to watch for entertainment if you want to be entertained it's quite interesting obviously it's all about tia mori's new journey as a divorced single mom and how she's going to navigate her life through it all because the show pretty much started off the basis that she is recently divorced she was literally born into this world sharing a womb with her twin sister she said she's never been alone and of course she went straight into a marriage where she was with her husband for 22 years and of course he has been the only man her first ever everything her first date of course she gave him her virginity after five years of dating like she has no other experience aside corey and you know essence on the show had that shock on her face like her oh, and they, of course there are people on the blogs like girl no one there no i don't know why people want to blow it up like that like hey if you've had no experience things like this will definitely happen during your midlife crisis and all of that i feel like it's not exactly true there are people who have dated and married their first ever and they're still thriving it might not be a lot of percentage the truth of the matter is that the media never blows out the things that are working because people are never interested in good things that are working. People are only nosy and scrappling for information about bad news. Because bad news goes faster than good news. So it doesn't mean that it's not working out there. It doesn't mean there are no happy marriages where they married their first everything but of course again the media will never show you that and so i am totally against the idea of oh you should date around like what the heck why do you have to kiss several frogs to find your prince <laughs> why do you have to do that i feel like it's gold it's actually golden to marry your first ever everything i mean if you get it right the first time it saves you you know from a lot of rubbish in my opinion so of course she started off the show about her pain how where she was she's sad about the decision and i kind of get it because even though um a lot of the blogs and you know guys who've been saying okay why are you crying you left the situation because you said you wanted to be by yourself and now you're crying for being lonely i think i said that in one of my videos but watching her show it gave me a little bit more perspective and compassion towards her because at the end of the day whether or not she was the one that pulled the plug on her marriage she's still going to mourn it because she's leaving a person that she has been with for years so it's expected that she's going to mourn her loss however it is she's going to mourn the life that she dreamed to have whether or not she wasn't patient enough with it whether or not she was tired of putting in the work and unwilling to put in more work she's still going to mourn the life that she had envisaged for herself and her family and her children in terms of the two family homes daddy home my home definitely will break anyone you know already i can just tell you this show is just gonna be how stella got her groove back the remake but tia's ration <laughs> okay because that's what is that's where it's going to and also this first episode was more a uh, tia and her assistant Ciara, tia and Ciara episode because the girl her assistant was just like everywhere i'm a spiritual person i kind of give tia her balance yeah i don't know I don't know, I don't know. It's just the first episode. She was rubbing me off the wrong way, especially what she did towards the end of the episode. I'm coming there, but of course her assistant brought this um, board and image where Tia was to talk about the qualities in the man if she wants to date again and all of that. And Tia was just giving physical attributes like the hair, you know, you have to do. And of course she's trying not to give us any clues as to why she left Corey because she won't talk about character behavior traits like um a man who was present who pays attention a man who was loving or a, a loyal partner she didn't give any of those attributes maybe because she doesn't want to give it away the reasons why she left Corey you know or maybe she's just looking for the wrong things i, I don't know but yeah th that's what she said with that and um before that scene there was a scene where um she called her friend that she was feeling lonely and they talked about the red carpet moment where she met um Corey hadrick you know and she felt like it was just it was an awkward hug 
and the media is blowing things out of proportion like there's nothing real i'm like okay it doesn't have to be awkward if there's nothing really there you and corey have a good relationship and we know truly the media will blow this up because neither tier nor corey is giving any insight or clues as to what happened so people would speculate obviously and Tia says she's trying to be known for her works and not drama, but she's not necessarily giving people the opportunity to know her for work rather than drama. Like this show already is a lot of drama. Talking about not being close with her sister, that's a lot of drama. That was also mentioned in the first episode. And I noticed in this first episode, she was talking about having finding family in her friends, her friends, her family. Like there was nothing about her family. Like how are you going to have a show? And nothing about your family except of course her daughter Cairo. she did mention that her son creed didn't want to be filmed and she would respect that as a parent and i pretty much see creed like someone who don't want to be a part of all this drama like like just count me out of me i won't be a part of all this mess <laughs> you know he's 13 so of course he knows what he wants but apart from Cairo, there's no other family you don't hear her saying oh i get the support from my parents my mom my brothers it was given the impression like she was isolated in this trying season of her life because she kept talking about how she's found family in her friends and her friends i don't know if you all noticed that there was a part in the episode where she was just like drained she, she does this uh, video diary thing where she talks about what she's feeling at the time you know tia said something at the beginning of the episode about um she doesn't want people to keep thinking that the relationship is perfect when it's not and i'm just like girl who told you we we're thinking it was perfect like who ever told you we were thinking it was perfect we can't be thinking it was perfect because we are also live in a world that is not perfect and the people you're trying to paint a perfect image to they're not thinking that you're only thinking in your head that people are thinking your relationship is perfect i don't think anybody's thinking that because their own relationship is not also perfect in their own homes so i don't know why she was thinking that and then she feels the need to let everybody know that it's not perfect and so she had to graduate from the marriage and go on media tour to let everybody know that hey it's not perfect you know but she when she said that i, I was like girl like you didn't have to i don't know i don't think anybody was thinking it was perfect when she did the whole video recording thing talking about she was feeling lonely at the time because her house is empty she's at home used to always have people in it her kids are not there maybe they were at their dad's i'm not sure she didn't mention but her home is empty and she wanted to be by herself for the rest of the week and of course her assistant organized a divorce party you know for tia and i'm like girl i'm not sure that was her place if tia wanted a divorce party she might as well you know just organize one herself but then again because everyone is kind of bashing Ciara, the assistant right now even though i agree she really overstepped her boundaries but of course tia allowed it because she probably makes friendship would work too much you know she organized the divorce party with terrell of course Terrell had good energy over there she did call tia and told her she was sending the glam squad to get her all glammed up and tia was acting all surprised but if you'd ask me i would tell you it's all scripted like so before we bash Ciara all the way some of the things she did was pretty much what was in the script if you ask me even though it's a reality show it has to be scripted for action tension you know and that extra drive to keep people watching or to keep people talking you know and perhaps Ciara was the best person for the job because who's gonna pay for the the food the decoration the tables that was used at the back of tia's house the drinks and who's gonna pay for all of those <laughs> you know would her assistant do that from her own paycheck i don't think so so it's definitely giving a wee tv production and tia probably is, is in the know of all of it and during that ceremony this assistant Ciara brought a medium so people call her a witch <laughs> She, because Sierra keeps saying she's a spiritual person, she's a spiritualist, she's the calm that Tia needs. I don't know, I don't know you guys, but she brought a medium and that just like irked me to the bone. Like, what in the world? And this lady came with a Buddha, a shrine kind of image, a Buddha image. She handed it over to Tia. I'm like, girl, you better don't open no spiritual portal into your life because you are not going to love it. All of those things are their channels, your opening portals that you may not be able to handle at some other time. And this lady came, of course, telling Tia what she wants to hear. Oh, your grandma, your late uncle, your late like girl. What does the living have to do with the dead? Bless the dead, rest in peace, but the living has no business with the dead. 
Of course, she started telling her. She started by telling her, oh, you know, you're going to be in a beautiful relationship and have a kid. And Tia was already excited. Like, oh my God, I didn't tell anybody this. But yes, I have a secret desire to have a baby again, another child again. I'm like, okay, girl, do you? <laughs> okay. And of course, the media said all of those stuff about dead uncles, aunties wrapping her up in love. And like dead people what about the people in her life that are alive that really love her and care for her and also the medium also said oh your friends they're really just you know here to support you yeah your families how come the medium never said anything about her real families her parents her brothers her sister why talking about the friend being like it was just giving i don't know i don't believe in any of those crap and it was giving real you know what you want to hear just telling her, okay, you're going to find love again. And this time, you're not going to settle. Of course, that's what Tia has been saying all over the internet. Well, that's what she's been portraying, saying in her interviews, like she's not going to settle. So what is the medium talking about that is not new? Like, ma'am, tell me something that we don't already know. Of course, she just said what Tia wanted to know. She talked about a release ceremony where they have to release things that are holding them bound so she asked that they write things down it could be a memory it could be a person maybe that's late whatever and Ciara Tia's assistant said oh I know the perfect thing and she went into Tia's closet she brought Tia's wedding gown and I'm like what like girl you're moving faster than your shadow like like it's giving wisdom is chasing you but you keep running faster Tia was like girl no 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 oh, my wedding dress hey this marriage was not dead for me 14 years in this marriage it wasn't a dead sentence it wasn't dead wedding itself was beautiful memories my my mom my dad my grandma it, no i have no regrets i don't think about my wedding with sadness you know and it was just giving like girl how do you feel of course the medium you know try to cover up a little bit for Sierra. i can't remember the exact thing she said but she said something that kind of make Sierra feel good because tia's response was giving girl don't do that but the media kind of covered up a little bit for her because at the end of the day she brought her and she's gonna be paying her you know but i felt like that was really off she went really off on that point how dare you bring her wedding gown do you even know if she would want to pass it down to her kid okay maybe she didn't want to do that but see i was like no she's gonna repurpose it you know she could sell it because it was custom made for her and that design was was remade for sale after tia has worn it for her wedding gown so that's a classic right there you want her to burn it up in the fire i don't know but that was really off that was giving i don't know tia needs to to wash that red clothes I mean, that was the episode at the end of the day what i could feel is tia longing for something deep something real something more than worry than a love life or than dating than family i feel like she's longing for something really deep and like i said in previous video only god can fill that void and no one else i don't think tia is a bad person she's just looking for the right thing in the wrong places i've said that before and i'll say it again she's looking for the the right thing in the wrong places and she may need to vet her current circle right now she may need to vet her current circle that she's not having yes ma'am people people who just want to tell her what she wants to hear but people who can critique her decision and say tia you're not doing this right girl you need to take a back seat girl you need to take time off social media girl you need to really reflect girl you need to heal quietly and all of those stuff but you guys what are your thoughts on this my honest advice is that if you love Tia, pray for her, y'all. If you believe in God, pray for her. If then just judging her on her page, at the end of the day, everyone cannot judge Tia. Like, hey, Tia, you left your marriage with this. Oh, Tia, no. At the end of the day, some of us still need to call her, pull her back in with love and just pray for her and so she can find her roots. Tia going for mediums, talking about connecting with energy, the universe, crystals. It's just like, what, girl? You know, we all know she has the foundation of God the true living god the father of our lord jesus christ we all know she has that foundation her parents have given her that foundation so it doesn't matter if she stray a little bit we know she will return and that's only what our prayers can do for her train up a child in the way that he or she would should go and when they are old they will not depart so even if they stray they will definitely return so my prayer for tia is that in all of this she find herself and find her true source 
her true happiness that only can be found in God. You guys share your thoughts about the episode. I'm not sure if I said everything I needed to say, but again, going forward, it's just going to be Tia's life trying to catch groove on, you know, do y'all think the divorce party was scripted? Like maybe Tia don't want to be the one to organize the divorce party by herself so they have to script it in a way and you also think maybe the Ciara dress thing was also scripted you know I don't think so but you guys share your thoughts in the comment section as always thank you for watching if you got to this point of the video do not forget to like share subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and until the next one remember to pray because you're gonna need it work out your body will thank you walk smart your bank account will thank you and slay your mirror would thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>